Evil Dead Rise. Yeah. So that movie was very, very interesting. I think with the franchise as a whole, especially because I remember hearing something about we're supposed to get Ash vs. Evil Dead continuation with the animation. And we're also supposed to be getting more basically from this universe. Uh, and I think it's awesome. I loved Ash vs. Evil Dead. I'm a, I'm still was annoyed that it got canceled when it did. I understood why. It wasn't getting the ratings like it was supposed to. A lot of people were taking it instead of paying stars for it. But personally, I'm glad the franchise keeps coming back like a deadite. And now you have Evil Dead Rise, which was uh, very, very cool. What I liked about the movie was the fact that it didn't try to just redo the grounds or anything. It moved forward. It added to the franchise and it also does show that you can have other protagonists besides Ash and still tell a compelling, interesting, horrific story. Also, I really enjoyed the fact that, which I like when horror does this, just because you're a kid does not mean you are safe. And I also enjoyed the fact that it felt like real threat. It was a completely different setting. I liked the the thing. And also, too, uh, the demon... Uh, mother was incredible. She was she was so entertaining to watch because she was such a jerk, and she would like do the most messed up stuff because she wanted to get to them. And how the demons got out was interesting. Where it starts to where it goes is interesting. They show you a setup there, and the beginning pays off. Uh, in the end, there is no after credits. The only one I ever had that was Evil Dead twenty thirteen. Also, this movie uh, did a little something, if you pay attention, that connects all the Evil Dead. That in includes Evil Dead 1, Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, Army of Darkness, um, Evil Dead, or I think the other one's called The Evil Dead, the 2013 one, which before that was serving more as like a remake, but there was enough differences in that movie the reasonings, the stuff like that, that it kind of could just be a part of the franchise and just had some very similarities. And even with the cabin in that one, similar, but there was definitely some differences on the cabin. So, all in all, uh, the movie, if you like a little bit of that gore fest, body horror, uh, that Sam Raimi goodness, if you are an Evil Dead fan, this one does not disappoint. You know, Ash vs. Evil Dead, it just does not disappoint. But you got to be prepared for that Evil Dead thing. It's a little bit gory. It's a little bit funny. It's a little bit of this. It's a little uncomfortable. Um, but they kind of did take a, a bit more serious route. But the children felt real. And I like that. Like they, they didn't, they weren't annoying. They weren't this. They were just who they were trying to live their life. And they were in a situation. So, uh, like I said, the, de the demon was great. The way it talked, the, the stuff that it would say and do. It was like, yeah, like when she was like, Mom, which this is in the trailer, but she's like, Mommy's with the maggots now. Like, she was saying some rough stuff. And it did some really cool horror effects, like something would happen. Like, let's say the, the phone would do something, and all of a sudden you would hear a different voice. Or this thing would happen, and then you would do that. And how they panned it up, and how it was... A very dangerous situation and when she took out people she did they had these little nods to all of the series though um if you're a really hardcore fan of evil dead the entire franchise you'll be able to pick them out immediately where you're like oh that's a nice little hark back to the first one and that's a oh that's a hark back to army of darkness that's a hark back to this and it was great so all in all because there is something i want to talk about uh that is more spoiler territory so, not really, but it's more about the franchise. So, at this part, I'm going to tell you my rating is a should buy. Okay? Now, five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to tell you the spoiler. Now, 
how they were able to connect them. And I did look up the director and he said it because it was in the movie. There's three Necronomicons. Now, if you go back, and I noticed this Necronomicon was a little different looking. If you go back to Army of Darkness, there was three Necronomicons. So the way the director explains it is, is that, as you saw, each one did something different. When Ash touched the one, it bit his finger. The other one uh, tried to suck him in and then he got the third one, right? So each one activates what it is. And this one had like a Celtic look and sound to it. This one had a mouth teeth thing on it. And the writing was very different inside of it. It didn't look like the other ones. Like it had more imagery and things like that. And then things would reflect. So I like that concept. There's the fact that there's multiple Necronomicons and it was one of the volumes of it. So it's, it comes in volumes. I was like, that's awesome. This one is, I'm going to say that this one is the one that bit Ash. And over the years, it like, you know, changed its look. And the one that bit Ash on his fingers, this one has a mouth to, to do something. So that's what I say. The one from Evil Dead, the Evil Dead, the one from 2013, I think that's the one that was sucking him in. That's why the the demons and monsters were a little bit different. They were a little bit, cre like, creepier. And then the other ones, they're just kind of ridiculous, which is the original Necronomicon one. I think that one just tries to infect as many people as possible. So, all in all, like I said, this is a pretty cool movie. I enjoyed it. Geek Protagonist, you stay safe, you stay healthy, you stay real.